Hey Savvy Investors, it's Iggy here from the Investing Iguana channel, your go-to source for the ins and outs of the SGX and its top players. Today, we're diving into the world of agribusiness giants, with a spotlight on Wilmar International. UOBK Hyan recently adjusted its sales on Wilmar, trimming its target price to $3.35 from $3.80, while keeping a hold stance on the stock. Why the cautious outlook, you ask? Well, it's not just about numbers, it's a tale of allegations, legal battles, and the resilience of a conglomerate. Stick with me as we peel back the layers of this complex story, examining the factors at play and what they mean for investors like you. This adjustment comes in light of recent developments that have stirred the market, specifically concerning Wilmar's China-listed subsidiary, Yihai Carry Arowana, and its embroilment in an alleged fraud case. At the core of the dispute is a serious claim directed at one of Ihai Kerry Arowana's divisions, specifically the Guangzhou Ihai branch, which finds itself embroiled in allegations of being an accomplice in a fraudulent contract scheme. This particular case has led to substantial financial repercussions, with reported losses amounting to 5.2 billion yuan for the state-run entity on Huawei Wai Win. In response to these charges, Wilmar International has taken a strong stance, emphasizing its strict no-tolerance approach to any form of corrupt practices within its operations. The company is steadfast in its commitment to uphold its integrity, pledging to rigorously defend its legal rights and protect the interests of all its stakeholders. This situation underscores Wilmar's resolve to address and navigate through the legal challenges while maintaining its ethical standards. Wilmar International's immediate and clear response to the fraud allegations linked to its subsidiary, Ihai Kerry Arowana's Guangzhou Ihai Unit, showcases the company's dedication to upholding transparency and strong corporate governance principles. However, this incident has unavoidably led to some concerns among investors and market observers, casting a shadow of doubt that could affect investor sentiment towards Wilmar's stock in the short term. UOBK Hyan, a prominent financial services group, acknowledges this potential for negative sentiment but also points out that the operational impact on Wilmar is expected to be minimal. This is due to Guangzhou Ihai's relatively limited function within the larger scope of Wilmar's global operations, primarily serving as a transit storage facility. Despite the serious nature of the fraud case, UOBK Hyan's analysis suggests that Wilmar's core business activities and financial health remain largely unaffected, underlining the company's resilience and diversified operational strength. In the fiscal year 2022, Guangzhou Ihai, a business unit under Wilmar International's vast umbrella, made relatively modest contributions to the conglomerate's overall financial performance. Specifically, it accounted for just a small percentage of Wilmar's revenue, net profit, and net assets, highlighting its limited role in the group's financial health. This financial backdrop is critical to understanding UOBK Hyan's recent reassessment of Wilmar's stock valuation. Despite the challenges arising from the fraud allegations associated with Guangzhou Ihai, UOBK Hyan has recalibrated Wilmar's earnings valuation multiple, adjusting it from a higher valuation of 25 times to 18 times. This adjustment reflects a cautious yet optimistic perspective, taking into account the potential short-term impacts of the controversy while still acknowledging Wilmar's robust earnings potential in the near future. This approach underscores UOBK Hyan's confidence in Wilmar's ability to navigate through current challenges and continue on a positive earnings trajectory in the coming years, affirming a stable outlook for the agribusiness giant. UOBK Hyan, UOBKH, harbors a cautiously optimistic stance towards Wilmar International as it gears up to announce its financial results for the second half of 2023, particularly eyeing the fourth quarter as a potential period of outperformance. This anticipation comes amidst challenges, notably within its palm refining sector, which has faced pressures yet managed to hold its ground. UOBKH has set a revised target price for Wilmar at 3 Singapore dollars and 35 cents, suggesting a modest potential gain of 2.4% from its last recorded trading price of 3 Singapore dollars and 27 cents. This valuation comes in the context of a slight downturn in Wilmar's shares, which saw a decrease of 1.8% or 6 cents. With the second half of 2023 results anticipated to be unveiled on February 21st, UOBKH forecasts that Wilmar will not only meet but surpass expectations with a projected fourth quarter core net profit ranging between 320 million US dollars to 350 million US dollars. This performance is expected to contribute to a full year core net profit falling between 1.2 billion US dollars and 1.23 billion US dollars, positioning the figure 6 to 8% beneath the consensus expectations. 
This outlook, despite being slightly lower than general market anticipations, underlines UOBKH's belief in Wilmar's resilience and its capability to navigate through sector-specific adversities while maintaining robust profitability. And that wraps up our exploration into Wilmar International's current standing and UOBK Hyen's latest rating. From legal tussles to financial forecasts, it's clear that Wilmar's journey is watched closely by investors and analysts alike. But what does this mean for your portfolio? Is Wilmar a hold, or is there more to this story than meets the eye? As always, I encourage you to do your due diligence, look beyond the headlines, and consider your investment horizon before making any decisions. If you found this analysis helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow investors. Your support helps us continue to bring you insightful content. Don't forget to subscribe to Investing Iguana and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our market insights. Until next time, keep investing smart and stay ahead of the curve. This is Iggy, signing off. Happy investing, everyone.